Thought I'd do a, just a quick video, a follow-up video on the fire that happened on this truck here. Tiny took a look at the damage here. It's probably, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's going to take, uh, fixing it is just a lot of labor. It's not a lot in parts or whatever. Not even turning it into insurance. I'll fix it when I get time. But uh, let's take a look at it here and see what happened. All right, so if you remember, battery box caught on fire here. And uh, it's burning pretty good. Flames were shooting up about a foot and a half out of this baby. And uh, here's about where it started, I would say, right in this spot here. So uh, the coating's completely gone off that wire there. So I'm going to guess right in here somewhere is where it started. Um, don't know what happened with those wires there. Something... I'm wondering if a critter was in there chewing on it because uh, when after it was done, I put this cardboard over top of it so it didn't get snowed on and get all wet in there. Something chewed the hell out of that cardboard already. So there's uh, something trying to make a home in here. Um, whether that's the case, I don't know. But anyway, it burned pretty good inside this frame rail here. And we got some air lines running through there. We got... Uh, my electrical wires running through there. So I'm going to have to take this all apart and splice or just replace everything brand new here. This box is, this lid is just completely melted onto this box. I can't lift the sucker off, so I'm going to have to cut that off. The box is junk, which is probably, the box and the batteries are probably the most expensive part of this. Other than that, it's just a bunch of wiring and a bunch of labor. And this truck is older, so while I'm at it, I may just redo the whole thing all the way up to the front of the truck just uh make it all new again you know what i mean so the battery's kind of melted here not uh not terrible that one's i'm guessing like right here was probably the origin because that battery's just uh melted out so i don't know i'll never know i don't know if uh like i said something was chewing on it or it was cold so battery could have froze swelled up and you know, when it when it thawed or whatever, plates could have shorted out. I don't know. But whatever happened, she burned pretty good. I'm very fortunate that I caught it when I did because I'm only, you know, 10 feet away from my building there. And could have been way worse. I'm, I, I go through my battery box a couple times a year. So this isn't something that was, you know, brewing in there and rubbing and, and whatever. In fact, I, did, I think I just did a video about it not long ago about going through your battery box checking all your connections making sure there's not rubs and things that are loose but you never know those kinds of things can happen real quick but uh yeah that's what happened i'm uh no no real damage to the back of the cab i'm lucky you know my apu sitting right here this is a tri-pack apu you got all your air hoses and stuff there i think we got some stuff melted a little bit just up in there uh, i can replace that but yeah that's the damage it's fixable I'm sure it'll be a winter project. I'll have to uh, cage the brakes on this thing and drag it into the into the shop when I'm ready to to mess with it. But uh, hopefully we'll get to it this winter sometime. And uh, before that, though, I'm going to go through. I'm just going to take all the wires out of here. So I mean, it's it's shot. I don't think there's any danger of anything burning again. But uh, you never know. Everybody, take care. We'll see you next time.